Today I wanted to show you how decluttering does not have to be overwhelming. We can take little bite-sized pieces at a time. So today I'm going to be spending 15 minutes decluttering this closet. I'm going to be just focusing on this gift wrap section. So let's see if I can get the whole gift wrapping section done in just 15 minutes. Will it be perfect? No. Will it be done? Hopefully, but if not, that's okay. I'll spend 15 minutes again next time and just continue and continue until it is completely decluttered this whole closet because it needs it, as you can tell. So it doesn't have to be hard or overwhelming. So relax and enjoy watching or set yourself a 15 minute timer and declutter with me. It's always easier with a friend. With me, I have just a box that I'm going to use for things that I'm going to declutter and just a bag for anything that needs to be recycled or thrown out. I'm gonna set the timer here for 15 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and get going. I wanted to come here and just chat with you for a little bit while I am doing this declutter. I'm going to be showing you this in real time today and we're just gonna have a little bit of a chat. So um, here you can see that obviously this doesn't work very well, which I already mentioned. I haven't really found a great solution for how to contain all my gift wrapping supplies. I have tried before the tall container where you have the wrapping paper sticking up and down. It just seemed too bulky and I didn't have quite enough wrapping paper anyway to fit in it. I don't usually keep very much wrapping paper. These under the bed storage containers have worked pretty well. I like how they hold most wrapping paper except for some that are really long. So it's been an okay solution. Again, I don't really love it, but it works fine and I'm going to be moving them to a different location which I will like a lot better because then I can actually store the luggage in here a lot easier. I used to store our luggage in our garage up high and that was a huge pain because we'd have to pull out the car, get out the ladder, climb up, get the luggage down anytime that we needed to use luggage. We, I guess maybe we didn't travel quite as much when we were younger, even just with younger children. We travel more now, not a ton, but we still travel more with older kids. So with the luggage out of the garage and down here under the stairs, I think it is going to be a lot better. And especially with the wrapping paper gone, I think it will fit even better. I'll talk through a little bit of this, but like these I need to take upstairs. I use these to deliver cookies to neighbors for Christmas. Um, I like to keep boxes. Those are always come in handy for gifts. Set these aside. I wished I had realized that I already had a bunch of wrapping paper for Christmas because I just bought two huge rolls from Sam's Club. Oh well, maybe I'll take them back, maybe not, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Think about it. Does 15 minutes seem like a long time? Well, to me, 15 minutes flies by pretty quickly. When I look at this closet, my brain tells me that there is no way that 15 minutes is going to do much. But then I get going and I look down at my timer and I think, Oh my gosh, I still have 10 minutes left and I've gotten all of this done. All right, I like to keep boxes. I just want to make sure that they have a match, which I'm pretty sure these all do. I think I actually looked through them after Christmas last year. In between me talking about my thought process when I'm decluttering here, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about myself. Hopefully you can be able to get to know me just a little bit better. My husband and I have been married for 22 years and we have four children. Our oldest is at college right now. She'll be turning 19 next week. I can't believe it, 19 years old. It's just crazy to me. Anyway, then we also have a daughter who is 16. We have a son who is 13 and our youngest son is nine. That was cute, but I, I don't need to say that. I'm not gonna use it again. Ribbon, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna use it. A little jewelry box, possible. Plain colored bags I like to keep. Those are all okay. Okay, go. So I'm gonna put these boxes back in here. Put the bags in a different spot. Those are all, whoops in the other container. I think back to when my kids were really little. 
I just think about how stressed and tired I was all the time and how I felt like I completely kind of lost myself. I didn't even know what my hobbies were. I didn't know what I was interested in. I had a really hard time for several years and became pretty depressed. And through the years, I've done a lot of therapy and been on a lot of different medications to try and figure out which ones work the best for me. And I finally have felt like I'm kind of at a good space. I've even gotten to the point where I feel like I don't really need therapy much anymore. I don't go very often. It's just every once in a while when I feel like I really need it. Okay, there's a lot of bags in here that I haven't used and I've had for years and years. I don't think I'm gonna use that. It's possible. No, possibly. But I still questioned who I was. Uh, I, I could only see myself as a wife and a mom. And not that that is bad. Those are really good things and I'm proud to be both. Wrapping paper. <laughs> I guess I did have a lot of wrapping paper that I totally forgot about. I think I'll be able to use all of that garbage. That. I wanted to have something that was for me and that I enjoyed. Um, I wanted to learn more about myself, and so I decided to start a YouTube channel. For many years, I loved watching decluttering videos, cleaning videos. Um, I actually started watching Dawn from The Minimal Mom, I don't even remember, but several years ago. And I'd kind of go in and out. There were times where I'm like, yeah, I was really gung-ho and I wanted to get it done, but then life would overtake me and I would get overwhelmed and I'm like, I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> so I would stop. I also really enjoyed watching cleaning videos. They were so motivating to me. I would turn them on, I'd put in my headphones, earbuds, and I'd get to work and I would get my cleaning done and it was just so motivating and I really, really liked those. And one day I was watching YouTube and I think I came across Christine from Frugal Fit Mom. If you guys haven't heard of her, go check her out. Anyway, I know she was doing a collab with some other YouTubers. She was talking about how she got started on YouTube and just the work that she put into her channel. And I was, I was really interested. And I thought, hmm, maybe this is something that I can do. <laughs> that sounds fun. I really also need to declutter my house and I really enjoy decluttering and maybe I could do that. So I decided just to go for it. This was a little over a year ago and I'll tell you that I have learned so, so much. I've learned that doing a YouTube channel is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> This is where I haven't used a lot of these. So and these were from when I had babies. My youngest is nine. The experience of creating a YouTube channel and learning all about it has been really difficult, but it also has been really rewarding. I have absolutely loved being able to share real life with people. And that's why I decided to go with the name Real Life with Allie because I just, you know, I noticed that a lot of channels um, kind of had this picture perfect home and I knew that mine was not picture perfect and I wanted to show people that it's okay. It's okay not to have a picture perfect life or a picture perfect home and that life is messy and can be hard. And being real here, I, I also, I want the perfection. I want the, the perfect house. I realized that that will never be the case, but you know, that's just what my brain does. It wants to be perfect in every way. I am a perfectionist. Crate paper. Oh, I haven't used this in years. I'm just gonna donate that. So I see people with this minimalist lifestyle and I want that. I think, man, if I can have less things and I can be happier and life will be easier. I'm I'm going to go ahead and just give that a try. What kind of bad getting rid of this these bags? Somebody made them for me, but I just haven't used them. And while I am not at the point where I feel like I am a minimalist at all, I'm starting to see the benefits of having a more minimal life, like having less stress and having more time. Hmm. These were like party invitations. never actually send out invitations anymore. I just 
text <laughs> the parents. Okay. I feel like I'm starting to ramble a little bit, so I'll try and wrap this up here. What I've noticed is that I feel like I have more space to breathe when I have things decluttered and organized. I think when there's always a place for something to go, it just feel a lot less stress. I've actually been a mostly tidy person all my life, and I'll talk to you about my um, growing up years in just a second here. I definitely know I want these bags. And if I get the time, maybe I'll actually um, kind of divide them up by style and I think I'm going to keep these just three baby bags for baby gifts. So I'll put like the baby ones here. Uh, let's consider that. Christmas. So I grew up with a pretty large family. We were a blended family and we were definitely expected to help out and we all had Saturday chores before we could go and play and my parents really stuck to it. Both my mom and my dad were really organized and really liked uh, to have a clean home. And I remember that my mom would always pick things up if they were left out. Well, if we left out our things, then we were expected to pick it up. If I went to get a drink of water, for example, and I set the cup on the counter for just a few minutes to go, go to the bathroom or go grab something, I'd come back and the dish was already gone in the dishwasher. <laughs> and we, This was something that was very common in our home. You're like, mom, we just got that out don't put it away yet. <laughs> so I was definitely taught well when I was young, but growing up and being an adult and having my own children in my own home, it became really difficult for me to just keep up, keep up on taking care of all these kids and a house. And I fell into some bad habits and I just kind of started becoming a little bit messy. But as time has gone on and my kids have gotten older, I am just trying to get my life together a little bit. And that includes a lot of decluttering. time do I have? Three minutes and 40 seconds. Making good progress here. Now I'm considering not putting away most of the wrapping because I'm going to be using it, but I'm only going to take a couple rolls so that I can see what I can put in here. Use the cellophane for wrapping up the cookies. Um, I need to use this up. One of those. I don't think this even fits in here. So I'm going to use that up. I'm going to use this one up because it's already unwrapped. Um, I don't love this one. because It doesn't really match what I have. I kind of want my wrapping paper to match. I know that's kind of silly. I haven't before, but I started last year and I loved how it looked. So this is a, I'm going to put away. So I have several things of wrapping paper. I really like this one. I just bought, these are huge huge 150 square feet from sam's club and i just bought two more because i thought i didn't have any wrapping paper so i'm going to set this one in here actually and then i have a bunch here i'm just going to take like a roll of each kind of color so there you go put these back in here okay Let's pass on. Actually, I wanted to take these into the closet that I just decluttered down there. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to keep these bows out for those gifts and the stickers actually use the stickers. Let me just pick. I don't love how these look actually. Oh, well, I'm just going to use them up. Use those. Okay. I think this will take me about less than a minute to go stick these in the closet. So I'm going to pause this real quick and go put those away. Okay. This is where I want them to go. You can see part of the problem for me is actually people actually putting their things back where they go. This is not where these go. That's all right. We're still working on it. Put this up here, actually. I'm going to put these here. Let's see if they fit. Let's see if they 
that. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Ah, that's perfect. All right, really, I have a minute left. I mean, it took me probably about a minute to put everything away, but I'm going to spend this last minute that I put on the timer just kind of cleaning this out real quick and seeing what I can organize in here because it's looking bad. We don't use these anymore. I'm just going to declutter these. don't really use that either. So that's going to be decluttered. Okay. Let's see. Oh, more ribbon to add. As you can see, I've started learning that I need to make decisions really quickly. And I've learned that because I really haven't missed hardly anything that I've gotten rid of. And it just, it, it's been much faster and easier as time has gone on. There's my timer. Okay, let me just stick this back here. Put these two pieces back in here. Okay, so that does still need a little bit of work, which is totally fine. This is what I decluttered. I've got a bag of some recycling, and then this box is just full of bags and stuff. I can donate most of this stuff in here, so I'm gonna probably send that off. I also decluttered these little tables and this Easter sign that I don't use anymore. 15 minutes. That is all it took. I got all of the gift wrap decluttered and put into a different closet that I've been wanting to put it in. I have some gift wrapping supplies here that I need to use. I'm going to try and actually wrap some presents today. So I'm going to take those upstairs to get that going. So 15 minutes is all it takes. I hope that you were also able to declutter something in 15 minutes. And if you did, comment below and let me know. I would love to hear about it. I've left you a video here to watch next. Thanks so much for being here and I'll catch you over there. Bye.